Hello, hello there. It's Connell Finlay here, the owner and director of the Seller Store down in New Zealand, and welcome to today's episode of The Seller TV. So, what we're doing today is trying this one of my new exciting uh, wines that we've got up online, and it's from the Gigante Winery. Here is a little close up for you. So, Gigante, G these guys are from up in uh, Friuli. So, Friuli, for those of you that aren't aware, is up in the northeast of Italy. Uh, so, it's also right next to the other. Uh, well, important region up there, which is Trento Alto Adige or Trentino Alto Adige. And so that's up there, up in the northeast, obviously. So that's also around the Swiss Alps and all the, Al uh, well, all the mountains around there. And of course, that means that it's quite hilly, quite a mountainous sort of region. And because of that, it makes it quite interesting and exciting. Often, there were, well, there's often a lot of white wines produced there, which do tend to be a little bit higher in acid as well. And the red wines here, they do tend to be a little bit more fruit forward as, a, as opposed to the big high tannin um, and sort of big full bodied sort of uh, wines that you'd find in the south of Italy. So this one is a red wine, red wine, as I say, it only makes up from the Friuli region, I'm pretty sure Red wine is only about a quarter of what they produce up there. So most of it is white wines with some sparkling wines as, as well. But generally speaking, red wine isn't a big, massive thing up in the Friuli region. Um, but this is one of the classic grape varieties up there. And it's called uh, Chipotino, which you can see on the label there. Chipotino also goes by the other name, uh, though, of course, it is most commonly known as Chipotino. Uh, it goes by the other common, well, semi common name, um, Ribola Nero or Nera. Um, so some of you might be familiar with Ribola Giala uh, or Giala and so that is the white wine cousin or brother or sister um, of this one basically uh, but as I said most people call it uh, Chipitino so this is from the 2012 vintage from Gigante so let's give it a little, uh, little sniff shall we hmm so for me, this is classic, absolutely classic Chipotino. On the nose, it does have that sort of that Bing cherry, that red sour Bing cherry, as well as those black cherries. Lots of sort of that plumminess characteristic coming through those sort of big black, black Doris plums, if you know what I'm talking about there, those big juicy sort of plums. And then there's a, just a touch of sort of nettle, a little bit of black currant in there. But it is mainly those big, juicy, sort of red fruit flavors. So it's much more on that red fruit um, side of the spectrum there. But what I like about this particular wine is it's got a little bit of oak. Not masses. Not massive, um, masses of oak. And so it does have just a little bit of sort of that burnt toast, a little bit of that slightly smoky um, aspect coming through. A little bit meaty. There is sort of that... Um, so that parma ham, I was just, just trying to think what it is, it's not bacon or anything else. No, it's definitely parma ham. But, but predominantly for me, I mean, there is sort of dried red currants. There's, as I said, those Bing cherries there. A little bit of those sort of uh, those red plums. But black Doris plum, largely. Mm, but anyway, so it's juicy, it's rich, it's got lots of those fun and exciting uh, red fruit flavors, quite concentrated red fruit flavors as well, I like to point out. But again, of course, it does have a little bit of oak, so it is a little bit more spicy, a little bit more complex. It's got a slightly uh, savory aspect to it as well. So if you are looking for that sort of interesting, exciting, savory, meaty, juicy, um, and rich sort of red wine, this is it in spades. Anyway, let's give it a little taste. So on the pellet for me, it's got fairly high acid actually for a red wine, which is quite common uh, of the wines that are made up in this region because of that slightly mountainous uh, terrain that these are found on. They are going to retain a little bit more acidity there. 
which is good. So it makes it refreshing, it makes it nice and exciting, but it does have the full, uh, well, the fuller body um, uh, and the, the definitely a little bit of tannin structure there as well, which is enabling it to be quite a medium bodied sort of wine. So it's nothing too intense. It's not like a big massive Cabernet or a Shiraz or anything else like this. There is a little bit of oak, as I said, but not that much either. So it is still largely retaining its fruit forward aspect to it. So it is still nice and juicy on the palate. Uh, it's very much sort of like a Northern Rhone Syrah as far as, as, far as sort of like the mouthfeel is concerned. Flavors are quite similar as well, just a little bit more savory here. So as I was saying, there's definitely those plums, those sort of black Doris plum, those cherry flavors. Actually, there's a little bit of floral um, coming through on the palate, on the finish anyway. Um, so a little bit like red rose, just a little bit. Mm, it's nice actually. But of course, then of course, that savory aspect does come through as well. That sort of slightly salty uh, parma ham, those sort of burnt toast characteristics there. Um, definitely that sort of that slightly toasty oak, uh, but it's very, very much in the background. It is still much... Uh, much more of a fruit for sort of style of wine. Anyway, so this has been Chipitino uh, from the Gigante uh, Winery from up in the Friuli region. I think this one is, we're selling it on for 40, $45 a bottle, I think. Um, so for this sort of price point, I think it's actually offering quite a lot of um, value for money. It does have a very decent uh, sort of tannic and acidic structure, which is going to allow it for sort of mid to long term aging. I'm going to say that, I mean, it is the 2012 already and we are in 2017 now. So it is already five years old. Well, four and a half um, years old. And so I'm going to say that this is going to age, continue aging on for at least another five years, probably four to five years. Um, I'd keep it on there, but it is drinking really, really, really well now. And that's another thing that I like about this particular winery is that all the wines are released when they feel that they are ready to drink, which is great, really. <laughs> it means you, you don't have to worry about cellaring them and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, um, which is good. Anyway, so all the information about this wine is down below. We've got the product link, um, so you can go off and, well, buy some, um, as well as learn a little bit more about it, and as well learn a little bit more about the other uh, wines that Gigante are making. Absolutely fantastic. As I said, they are new to us here in New Zealand, um, and especially to the seller store, which is exciting, but we are very glad that they are here. If you have enjoyed the video, which I hope you have, um, I hope it's been helpful for you, then please do like away, comment away. Also check out a whole bunch of our other videos. We've got loads and loads up there, and not just Italian wine tasting videos, but sort of American and German and Austrian and all sorts of stuff, um, as well as a bunch of uh, other educational uh, videos, wine educational videos up there for you as well. And of course, if you have enjoyed it and a few of our other videos as well, highly recommend that you're subscribed uh, to our channel. Again, of course, as you're probably aware, the link is down below. Uh, so make sure you are kept in the loop. We are constantly adding in new content, as you can probably see um, every week or so. We're adding at least another couple of videos, tasting videos and, and what have you. Anyway, so this is absolutely delicious. I think I'm going to go have to finish this off. <laughs> uh, so please do. Like away, comment away, as I say. I've been Connell Finlay. This has been Seller TV. Cheers.